A Children's Book About Being Careless by Joy Berry. Help Me Be Good. A Children's Book About Being Careless by Joy Berry. This book is about Lenny. Reading about Lenny can help you understand and deal with being careless. Lenny's friend says, You're being careless! Cat thinks, Uh-oh! You are being careless when you act as if you do not care about yourself. You are being careless when you act as if you do not care about the people and things around you. Lenny's friend says, Watch out! Being careless can cause you to hurt yourself. Lenny says, Oops! Bam! Being careless can cause you to hurt other people. Ugh! Cat thinks, Oh! Being careless can cause you to damage or destroy things. Lenny says, My bike is wrecked! Lenny's friend says, So is mine, thanks to you. And Cat thinks, Oh, I don't think I'd thank him. It is not good to be careless. You need to be careful instead. When you are careful, you act as if you care about yourself. When you are careful, you act as if you care about the people and things around you. Lenny's friend says, you need to be more careful, Cat thinks, especially around cats. Be careful. Obey the rules. Your parents usually know what you need to do to keep yourself and others safe. They usually know what you need to do to take care of the things around you. The rules they make can help you be careful. Lenny says, I accidentally ran into it. Mom says, you know it is against the rules to run in the house. Cat thinks, Boop. Be careful. Pay attention to what you do so you will make fewer mistakes. Lenny's laughing watching TV. Ha ha ha. The milk is spilling glub 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 all over Cat. Be careful. Slow down so you can avoid accidents and mistakes that happen when you hurry. Dad says, you are making mistakes because you're in a hurry. Slow down. Be careful. Watch where you're going so you can go, so you can avoid tripping and bumping into things. <laughs> Lenny's not watching where he's going. Be careful. Be aware of people and things around you so you can avoid dangerous situations. Honk, 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 screech! Lenny's not paying attention watching, walking across the street. Be careful. Avoid playing roughly so no one will get hurt and nothing will get broken. Lenny's friend says, Don't be so rough. Smack, smack. Lenny's slamming the cars together. Be careful. Avoid playing with dangerous things so you will not hurt yourself or others. Lenny's friend says, You know you aren't supposed to play with matches. Be careful. Avoid playing in dangerous places so you will not hurt yourself or others. Hmm, Lenny thinks. Cat thinks, This doesn't look like a great place to play. Being careless is not good for you or the people around you. It is better when you are careful. Lenny says, I guess it's time for me to start being more careful. Cat thinks, thank goodness. Now this book will have a happy ending. The End A note to parents about being careless. When one could not care less about something, one is certain to be careless around it. Being careless is an expression of disrespect or disregard for something. 
This is why most people are often unforgiving of accidents that are caused by carelessness. The purpose of this book is to teach children the importance of respecting themselves as well as the people, places, and things that surround them. It also teaches children how to translate their respect into thoughtful, careful behavior. Reading and discussing this book with your child can help avert many of the accidents that bring about harm or unwanted responses from others. It can also help your child live a productive and fulfilling life that can only be attained through respect for himself or herself as well as others. Respect is something that is caught, not taught. Therefore, the best way to teach your child respect and carefulness is to be a person who is respectful and careful. It is to live a life in which carelessness is seldom demonstrated. Thank you.